Thanks, Jackie. We are super excited about the final chapter of War for Cybertron coming in July, too. And we're even more excited to be here at Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest with all of our Transformers fans. I'm Rachel, I'm a marketer, and this is Mark, a designer on Transformers. And we first off wanted to apologize. We know it's been so long since we've done one of these Transformers live streams. So long, in fact, that Mark's mustache has turned into a full grown beard. Looking good over there, Mark. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I have a little surprise hidden in the gray area <laughs> later on, so I can't wait to show you. Oh boy, <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, and so long for me that I'm actually over 38 weeks pregnant right now, <laughs> expecting a baby girl any day now. An Autobot in the oven or a Decepticon in the oven? Oh, um, probably a Decepticon. She kicks the crap out of me, so that's fun. <laughs> um, but we have an exciting show planned for you guys today. So make sure you stick with us till the end, um, especially to see what the news is all about with these new t-shirts we're rocking. If anyone has any ideas, any suspicions, uh, feel free to drop them in the chat. We'd, we'd love to hear from you guys. And of course, it wouldn't be a true Transformers event with so much to get through. So we might as well get started, kick it off with a closer look at what has already been revealed, or in other words, leaked from <laughs> War for Cybertron Kingdom Wave 3, about like 80% of the line. <laughs> but we're excited <laughs> to give you guys um, a closer look and a behind the design details on Wave 3 of Kingdom. So Mark, let's uh, kick it off with the biggest item in the line that we have this year, which is Titan Class, the Ark. Yes, the Ark. You're finally getting a Titan Ark. So uh, here, here is the robot mode. I mean, uh, Lenny actually worked on this item with a Jima-san. I mean, this looks awesome. It's got the ratcheted joints, good articulation, the big thruster engines on the front of the shins. I am so, so glad. It's so great to be a G1 fan right now because you are getting everything you want. Here we have the massive arc, awesome sculpted detail on this. As you can see, some really, really nice paint application has the weathering on the front. It does even have a landing gear in the back. There is a spring loaded mechanism for the latch here. You just press on that and that drops down like that. And we do have an in-scale Optimus who's hidden in my beard. Here he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing is that? That's awesome. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> this arc does come with some cool blast effects. Really nice uh, color here. They do plug back into your engine so you can look like it's blasting off, uh, flying away from the nemesis. This arc also comes with Teletran 1 for the first time. You actually get Teletran 1. I had Wheeljack over here in front of it, of course, because Wheeljack loves Teletran 1. But you can see here on Teletran 1 the cool, cool screens that have like a, a lot of cool artwork on there. So also on Teletran 1 is you have storage in the back for the golden discs. Yes, you get two golden discs. And it also has the awesome sculpted detail, just like out of the animation episodes. The Sounds of Earth is actually <laughs> sculpted on the back. Great job there. And there's even like a removable navigator globe that's in translucent on the mainframe part. That's got a, a peg on it. This item is pretty wild. It's really awesome. Get out your old science projects and crash land this into your volcanoes. <laughs> For sure. And I think we have some um, packaging images as well. Yes, here we go. So we got the custom illustration on the front of pack. Mario on the graphics team, um, of course, killed this um, packaging execution. 
And I think you guys might be able to see a few Easter eggs on that front of pack. Let us know um, in the chat if you see any. We always try to drop a few on Commander and Titan class. And then here's a look at the back of pack uh, product renders that display the complete product offering that Mark was just walking you through. So super excited about this item, but we have like, Mark, like nine more items to talk about, so we should probably move on. <laughs> Next up is Commander class, Rodimus Prime. This Rodimus is the Rodimus to rule all Rodimuses. Uh, his chest opens up. Uh, he's got the matrix of leadership, as you can see here. You can even, uh, hopefully you grabbed the Studio Series Hot Rod and you can replay the moment from the movie of him rising into Rodimus Prime. Oh, look at that graphic. That graphic is epic. So he's definitely ready to battle really Galvatron cool. and inside on really cool graphic. So as you can see here, all new parts, uh, He's he is absolutely gorgeous. He's got the silver paint applications on his pipes. He's got, he's got his awesome rifle that does condense which is very, very cool. He does come with a bunch of blast effects, which are in Energon Blue, like his translucent canopy. Uh, he also comes with the Sword of Primus, and we have some really nice shots of him wielding the Sword of Primus, which is really awesome. And let's not forget the vehicle mode, here it is. Here it is in our straight up, like gorgeous vehicle mode. As we can see here, it connects beautifully, easily. The trailer has like a lot of, a lot of cool, cool little compartments to store all your energy, blast effects, energy effects. As you can see here, it's even got the gun turret. This gun turret does store inside the trailer, but it also can store up on top of the trailer. I mean, there's even shield blockers on on the gun turret. Really nice paint applications to make it look like he's blasting some Decepticons. We got pistons in the back for the latch, which is really cool. You got the Omega joint in the back here that will fit with a Omega Supreme to build out. You can fit in a lot of stuff in this trailer and there's a lot of five millimeter posts to store all of his stuff. There's even that compartment on the bottom that is like really nice. This also comes with some cool blast effects that are showcased here and they actually fit onto his pipes and- and That's and the, the final color of the blast effects, right Mark? This is the final color of the blast effects, yeah. Let me showcase here that they can really fit in. There you go. Pretty cool, really cool, actually. I love this item. This, I mean, ankle rockers, super, super poseable action figure. Articulation is really outrageous. Rodimus Prime, finally. Amazing. We also have images of packaging for Commander Class Rodimus. Um, again, custom illustration on the front of pack. You got it there? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> The illustrations for really? all of these characters. Whew. Yeah, the graphics team, again, did an amazing job. Um, and you see there on the back of pack, all of, you know, robot mode, all of his alt modes, including that gunner station mode and the bottom. Awesome. And next up, we have leader class, Galvatron. The Galvatron to rule all Galvatrons right here. I mean, love Galvatron, who doesn't? This is just an amazing sculpt of Galvatron. As you can see, he's showcased here with his awesome plasma cannon. And he also does have two areas to, to place it. He's got the bicep and the forearm, which is very, very key because as you all know, it shows up in different places all the time. On his other hand, he's got like this really, really cool blaster. As you can see here, it stores in the back, but you also can pop it off. Both blasters do store in the back, but you do can, can combine them, which is cool. He's got a double blaster. He's got the matrix of leadership uh, around his neck, tied to a chain, just like the animated movie. Uh, I mean, this, this 
item came out so great. Lenny worked on this, I believe, and he just did an amazing job on it. Some really nice paint applications. Uh, and let's not forget to talk about this amazing gun turret mode. This is just, it just harkens me back to the old G1 days. But as you can see here, these pop off. I mean, you have uh, articulate abilities here, which is amazing. Even the back uh, of the gun turret can move as well. So you can pose out as much as you want. You can see the matrix of leadership does fit in nice, nice with a nice little dash hole right there. I mean. Mark, I think we have deluxe class up next. This is a new beast character for wave three kingdom. Uh, Mark, I know you're jacked up about this item. This is a uh, deluxe class Scorponok. Yes, there he is. I actually got to work on this with uh, Taku-san and Takara Tomi. Oh, absolutely love how this guy came out. He's just pure evil. He's super creepy. He's right out of the animation. As you can see there in both of his claws, he has the double-headed missile in one, and then he's got the, the cyber bee in the other. You know you're going to want to play out that episode where he shoots Primal with the cyber bee. I mean, the sculpt detail on this came out outrageous. As you know, for all the beast mode characters, we've been really, really, really particular about getting that beast mode like as accurate to real life. Shown there is you can actually sting your opponent. Great articulation on this item. The big fangs, the color scheme is just crazy on this character as well. It's awesome. It's so creepy. Look how creepy this thing is. <laughs> Even the lava. But I, <laughs> I know. Shout out to Corey on those uh, those diorama flicks. Those things came out really crazy. But this guy, look at this guy. He's a big barrel chested bad dude. Wicked cool head sculpt. <laughs> He's mean. He's ready. As you can see, you can switch around uh, your cyber bee and your double headed missile and both of the claws. And just a quick. Zoom in on this thing. What? Come on. You guys nuts. All right. All right. Creepy, creepy. <laughs> All right. Next, um, let's finish off the deluxe figures, Mark. So the next one we have is a fossilizer for wave three to enhance all of these custom builds we're seeing you guys do. You all are crushing it. So love to see it, keep it up. Next is deluxe wing finger. Here he is zooming on in there. He's got an awesome shot there of him like kind of chilling, but he does have the articulated mouth here. And, and, and he's much much like the Ractonite, which is, you know, he's definitely got the cool, cool bone deco. I mean, this is like just really cool. Hasui-san worked on this item in Takara Tomi, and he just, he just really wowed me with this. But we got some cool shots in robot mode as well. I mean, the beast mode's amazing, but the cool shots in robot mode. He looks like a, a basically a maximal ninja. Really cool. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he does break apart. There he is with the double bone swords. I mean, it's great that the team is really like branching out and doing some new things. I know a lot of people are having a lot of fun with these. It's just a little something different. Let let us know down in the comments what you feel about the fossilizers. Do you want more of this kind of atmosphere in, in with your robot Cybertronian land? I mean, it's just a really cool, nice change of pace. The best part though, well, you, you obviously can weaponize them up with your characters like the other fossilizer dudes. There's like a cool, like big uh, thunderous uh, hatchet mode. And, but the best part, the best part is you pop this little piece off. You have a reveal and you know what you're going to want to build with this. It's a combiner. So you got Ractonite, you got Paleotrex, and you got Wingfinger, and you can get this amazing combiner. Now, I can't wait to see what you guys do out there in Fanland. 
you guys have been crushing the builds with the four paleo trexes but this is just another character to do your ultimate combiner with awesome and the last new deluxe figure of wave three we are going g1 with this one we have deluxe tracks super excited about the g1 tracks this is like a mini masterpiece deluxe has turned into mini masterpieces so i worked on this item with kumi hero san <laughs> and it's it, it's just fantastic like he's straight up right out of the cartoon as you can see a really nice head sculpt we did give him the ability to swivel his guns on the top so you can actually point it with his poses, which is really nice. Really, really cool sculpt detail. He has his uh, G1 blaster. He has some really nice paint applications. The vehicle mode is really dope. It's uh, stylish and it's sleek and the best part of the vehicle mode, obviously, is the flying car. There it is. Yes, you do get the flying car on a deluxe. Come on. <laughs> And you can see the nice tampo graphic on the front. It just harkens back to the animated uh, graphics. This this item is really cool. It's got the fins in the back. It's pretty cool. Nice rims. Nice I love paint the shot that, um, that Corey got of the flying car, too. Yeah, check this out. This looks sweet. <laughs> wow, yeah, Corey kills it on that diorama. Look at that. It's flying over the lava. You know you're going to break out Optimus and you're going to break out the old basketball and they're going to be dunking on each other. <laughs> mm, nice. My kind of scene. All right. Next up for wave three, we have a Voyager beast uh, to share with you guys. And it's none other than Rhinox. Oh, great, great, Rhinox, yes. Uh, so this Voyager was uh, designed by Lenny and uh, I believe Yuyasan as well. And he's got those cool paint applications, really nice gold and silver. As you can see, the beast mode is just ripping bad. It's awesome, it's wicked. It's got some really nice sculpted detail. It's really, really accurate to a real rhino. I have him here, fortunately. He does have that articulated mouth, which is really cool. Lenny definitely painted the inside there, which is a nice little hint of color. The horns are just really cool how they came out. They're like a, a, a pretty hard but soft PVC plastic. It's really cool. The, Rhinox, I mean, you have to get Rhinox to complete your Beast Wars animation. And here's robot mode. As you can see, those nice paint applications. You can store his weapon in the back, which is nice. I always like that feature. Um, there he is in all his amazing glory. Awesome. All right, so these last two Wave 3 Kingdom figures are not available for pre-order. So fans, you'll have to find them in store and online starting this fall, but we couldn't keep them out of the show. Uh, we wanted to give you guys a first look at what's new for core class wave three. So Mark, this is gonna be a speed round. Let's just give fans a quick lowdown of these figures. And first up is core class uh, Dracodon. Here we got Dracodon. He looks amazing in his radioactive bone. Core class is so cool. I love, I love, I'm really, really digging the core class characters. Uh, this is an awesome sculpt. He's got some really nice gold paint applications, some really nice metallic oversprays. As you can see, his gold nails here. He's got the tail weapon. This is just really cool. I'm trying to show you his, uh, his alt mode. And he's got the, you know, articulated lower jaw. He's got some really nice paint application. This thing is pretty awesome. Radioactive bone fossilizer. I mean, you can't go wrong. <laughs> nice. And lastly, to wrap up wave three, we have everyone's favorite character in the core class scale, Soundwave. Yes. Yes, Soundwave. So here you have a shot which is pretty wild that we got it at that scale you have like a little laser beak cassette that fits in his translucent canopy i got a little shot here if you can see that isn't that pretty amazing 
he's pretty awesome. He, he's really cool, core class. I oh yeah, the, the boombox mode. You gotta talk about the boombox mode. You can even flip up his feet like this and get like a little extra speaker on there. This thing's super cool. He does have the sculpted in eject button, but it's a manual release here to get your little tape cassette. <laughs> But this is great. I mean, I just want to show quickly the in scale uh, with Megatron, which is awesome. And also he does have storage on the back of him for his weapons. And he comes with two weapons. Come on now. And they're both G1 classic. I mean, for $10, why not pick up this guy? <laughs> It's Soundwave. You need Soundwave in your core class collection. <laughs> All right. So again, these two core class figures are not available for pre-order, but you can find them in store and online starting this fall. But all the other Kingdom Wave 3 figures that we talked about today, um, you can see here on screen the awesome group shot of all of Wave 3. Let us know which product you are most excited to see. You can drop it in the chat. Uh, Mark, I think I'm really feeling the creepiness of Scorponox, so I think he's gonna be my favorite. What about you? <laughs> I don't know, I'm really in love with that Trax right there, how he's kind of like going into battle on that little <laughs> that little rock of lava. I, and it, I mean, it's just the whole, the whole entire bunch of just, uh, I love all of these figures. I mean, Kingdom is just, has been mind blowing. It's just great to be a Transformers fan right now. Let us know down in the comments what you guys feel about Kingdom. I mean, it's just so much goodness. And Wave 3 Kingdom figures will be up for pre-order. Pulse Premium members, you actually have access to pre-order uh, right now. Um, and all other retailers and non-premium Pulse members beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. All right, let's transition to our final segment, which is Pulse Exclusives. So somewhat of an anniversary to the Centurion Weapons Pack that we did in 2020 as a Hasbro Pulse Exclusive. Uh, we are giving 2021 a Kingdom Spin and launching a deluxe fossilizer figure, Tricranius. And this is the Blast Effects Pack, which comes with 19 Blast Effects. Mark, I think you have the item in hand to do a little unboxing for fans. Yeah, definitely. I actually got to work on the package graphics with Mario on this. And if you can see how amazing this guy turned out, Boom! That illustration sings. It's just so colorful, so awesome. But it's all about the figure. So this is a Ractonite partial. As you can see, he's got the Triceratops head, which is really cool. He's got this awesome lava deco scheme. And inside the box here is where you get all your blast effects. There's hot pink. There's like a jade green ice one. Look, oh, there's some nice shots of them there that Corey did. Beautiful, beautiful. I think actually maybe Dave White did these shots. They, they came out gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, White this did. item. Yeah, the, this, this item is just super rad. Definitely want to get the different blast effects. And plus another character to do another kind of fossilizer weapon build out along with all your other characters for the fossilizers to combine like a really, really bad, bad combiner dude. You know you're going to want to do that. Really great. Oh, the fire blast on the horns. Oh, so. yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, we hope you guys like these diorama shots. We've been working hard to make these photos look as cool as possible. So um, we'll keep them coming if you like them. <laughs> Lastly, fans, let's talk about these awesome t-shirts Mark and I are wearing. You might have also seen John Barber rock this t-shirt earlier this week. And we are excited to announce that we are launching a Hasbro Pulse five-figure toy capsule, and the theme is none other than, yep, you guessed it, shattered glass. And we not only will have five new toys as part of this capsule program, but the toys will be accompanied by a IDW comic miniseries. 
Shattered glass isn't your average Transformers tale. Shards is the story of the ongoing battle between the power-hungry Autobot autocrats and the freedom-fighting Decepticon laborers. Join author Danny Lore and artist Guido Guidi in exploring this fractured alternate universe just before it shatters. All right, Mark, let's give fans a closer look at our first of five toy reveals in the Hasbro Pulse Shattered Glass Capsule, which is Deluxe Class Blur. Really excited about this blur that I have here in hand. As you can see, the colors pop off the screen. He's got some really nice metallic blue lightning paint applications that, oh, there you go. He's catching it right in the light there. This is based on the studio series Blur Molds from the 86 movie. As you can see, it comes with this little spark unit and it also comes with this blaster. But what really sings on this is the colors. Uh, you know, he has his uh, purple Autobot symbol underneath the translucent yellow and orange canopy. Uh, in robot mode, we did do a new alt head, new sculpt. It's really, really cool looking, very, very detailed. He's got the eye patch with the crazy red scars underneath. He's got like a nice little smirk to his face. I'm super excited that we're getting into the Shattered Glass characters. Uh, it's like, there's going to be so many gems dropped on this series. As you can see here also, I have the package and the package is just wild. There's all kinds of angular cuts on here. You get a window box. Shout out to Mario on this because it is a piece of art. As you can see, he's blinging in the- in, Shout out to in, AJ too, Mark. Shout out to AJ, that's right. He's on the structure, really did a great job on this uh this package it makes the characters really sing the illustrations are awesome so nice oh beautiful <laughs> so as you can see we did want to make this capsule as special and as exclusive as possible for our fans you can see that through the custom branding the custom packaging that we developed um for this for this line and we're really excited to finally share it with all of you guys and what else makes this capsule exclusive is that each toy purchased on hasbro pulse will include a idw comic with an exclusive pulse variant cover by artist casey collar so each issue will focus on and is told from the cover character's perspective. So in this case, issue number one is Blur, and there's the exclusive cover there flashed on the screen, which turned out awesome. And just as a quick summary, many kilocycles after the Cybertronian War has destroyed Earth, Blur, an evil Autobot seeker, hunts down Starscream, a Decepticon explorer who holds a piece of information that could reignite the war. So Pulse Premium members, you have access to pre-order these two Hasbro Pulse exclusives right now and non-Hasbro Pulse Premium members beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. And stay tuned over the next few months, we'll be releasing the next four um, Hasbro Pulse Shattered Glass toys. And fans, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on the Hasbro Pulse YouTube page for more great content. Thanks for watching Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest, but stay tuned. We got a special unboxing reveal that we think you all will be really excited about. Let's uh, check it out. Hey Transformers fans, it's me, Kevin Smith. Jason Mewes. And welcome to Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you see a very familiar truck sitting Ooh. in front of us, and look how gorgeous it is. Look at the detail, man. Look at this, authentic G1 design. Now, I'd be happy, proud, to put this on my shelf, because everybody knows exactly who this is, right? This is a very famous yeah. truck, ladies and gentlemen, but this is special. This is what we want to show you. Ready for this? This is incredible. <laughs> this will blow your mind. Get ready because the Autobots are about to reveal themselves. Take it away. Hey, Optimus Prime. 
Greetings. Convert! Boom! Come on, man! Can you believe this? Remember when you had to convert your toys yourself? It doesn't, man! This robot converts for you. It is packed. This is one of the most ingenious intellectual toys I've ever met in my entire life. Look at him just moving. Mm. Like he's just breathing. Like it's not he's not just standing still like a statue. Even when he's not doing a thing, he's still got some motion to him. That's because they got 5,000 components in this bad boy. He stands at 19 inches tall. Look at him, man, and he's packed with more computing power than what we sent the first rocket to the moon on, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, man, it has 60 microchips and 27 servo motors in it, man. Bow, 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 bow. That's right, and he's got 25 voice commands, Ooh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, watch this. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Are we friends? You are my friend. <laughs> I guess I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. It's now Optimus Prime and Silent Greetings. Bob from now on. Greetings yeah. to you. Tell him to say hello. Optimus Prime. Greetings. Say hello. Greetings, people of Earth. All right, let's check this out. Ready? Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Roll out. Come on! Look at that. Oh my lord, man. Look at that. This is the greatest invention that human hands has ever put together. I mean, I love I love just hearing when he's like, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh. I love that it's Amazing. Peter Collins voice, man. Yeah. Like that it's like it's the original voice. It's not something close. It's literally Peter Collins. They got Peter Collins to sign off. Thank on you, this. Peter. Thank you, Peter. That's the voice of a happy childhood right there, kids. Yes. Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Move forward. <laughs> I have been so happy about something small walking since my daughter was born. I think I'm a little happier about this. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Roll out. <laughs> Let's roll. Love that. My God, this is amazing. Now, it's got 25 different voice controls, but... Optimus Prime can also be controlled from a, a mobile app, man. Show them. Here we go. Connection complete. Ooh. All right, man, there are so many things here. I mean, I don't even know what to show you first, but well, before we uh, convert, let me show you this. A horn. Simple, but lovely. Simple horn for Amazing simple chin. Place. This thing does amazing things. You're like, it's got a horn. <laughs> I know, I know. But it's so exciting to me. All right, guys, here's a few actions. One of my favorite is this. Oh, hero pose. And you can hear him smash the ground. Things are cracking and stuff on the, the bottom. Then you have, um, hey. Be cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, come on. Look at him voguing. Right? What an amazing Autobot, for heaven's sakes. Always was in the cartoons, always was in the movies. Now he's a real Autobot in real life. He exists, and he is astounding. Look out! Slice! Slice! Could you? He went oh. this way. Oh. He went that way. Come on. Come on. Look, look out! He's over there! Oh my gosh. But you know what? You can go to, look at this, missions, and you can create your own. So if you want to be like, do the Jay and Silent Bob pose, you can be like, is and that, you can make- Is that our pose? Not, well, not, not necessarily, but you know what I'm saying. Look at him, he's just standing in a state of cat-like readiness. Ooh. Just ready for action, ready for battle. 
ready to defend the world from the Decepticons. Built by Robeson, licensed by Hasbro, man. This Optimus Prime Collector's Edition robot is available right now, man. You can pre-order it as we speak. What? Wait, now I'm going to Hasbro Pulse right now. I'm going to order that right. We already have one. No, no, no. I need another one, man. I need more than one because I know you're going to be playing with it, taking it from me, going, it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm this one is mine. Ooh. So I just thought we'd share it, but apparently he's got to have his own, man. How much is it? Six ninety-nine. I'd pay that. Yes, sir. Six ninety-nine for all that it does. You'll have this for life. This will be a legacy toy that you pass on to your kids. Yes, I'm actually gonna get two now that you've said all that, because I'm gonna have one to play with and one I'm keeping in the box. Oh there you God. go. Spoken like a true collector. This Optimus Prime auto-converting robot comes with everything you see here, including this handy-dandy travel case where you can store your power converter and Optimus to take them on the road, man. You gotta bring them over to friends' houses. This is too good to just keep in your place, man. This is the kind of thing you take from place to place and show people off. So you wanna pre-order it right now as soon as possible before they're all gone. Go to HasbroPulse.com right now to get your hands on one of these bad boys. Anything else to add, my friend? Autobots, roll out! Let's roll. Thank you so much to our special guests, Kevin Smith and Jason Muse, for joining us today. And a huge thanks to the Transformers team. And wait a sec, Optimus Prime. Oh. Freedom is the right of all <laughs> I mean, it's just very cool. Optimus Prime, you're really cool.